So a little bit of an update, I haven't posted a video for nearly a week now. I'm sorry about that. I've uh, been quite ill and I've been in hospital. I've uh, been basically living off of a drip, haven't been able to eat or drink for five days now. I don't really know what's wrong. I think it could be either Crohn's disease or an ulcer that has been made worse by some bacteria. That bacteria is now gone. I've had some antibiotics. The, the, the doctors have treated me really well here, actually. I'm at the, I'm at the Lao China Hospital in Luang Prabang. This is what the private room looks like. So, get my own room. It has its TV, I have a bed, I have a couch. It's really good. Um, I have a, sh a hot shower. I don't know how much this is, the travel insurance is paying for it. I'm basically getting a, a, a medical flight to VNTN tomorrow to go to see a specialist, a gut specialist. I have no idea why I'm in so much pain. I was in absolute agony for two days and then it just ended up calling that an ambulance. I was just in the fetal position on my shower floor in my, in my room. Just with the, shower, the hot shower just on me for about two days, not being able to eat or sleep or anything. Just in absolute agony. It was, it was pretty much as bad as when I had my appendix. I'll put the link to that video in the description. That's another story in itself. But yeah, it was pretty much as bad as that. So that's the update. That's why I haven't been posting in the past few days. I'll start posting more from now because I'm feeling like I've got a little bit more energy. I'm a bit slow. They've given me a shot of tramadol in my bum <laughs> to, uh, yeah, to help with the pain. And I just haven't eaten at all for five days. So I'm very weak. I don't have a kitchen or anything like that. Your nurse comes in, she brings you her phone and you order food off of what's called Food Panda in Laos. It's sort of like Deliveroo in the UK, or it's basically just a food delivery service like Uber Eats, something like that. And so yeah, I've, I've ordered this, this lasagna, this really nice looking Falang vegetarian lasagna and salad, 69,000 kips, so it's like, it's over $6, nearly $7. I never would have been able to afford this, you know, as a true budget traveler. But this is one of the perks. I haven't eaten in five days and I'm so looking forward to eating this. After I've eaten this, I'll probably show you a little bit of the hospital. But I've got to, I've got to bring, bring me drip with me. Right, let's go. Nice and clean. Get the VIP rooms. That's your travel insurance for you. Better just put me drip up before me blood comes out. Oh, that's not so good. Damn it. That's what happens when you, that's what happens when you don't put your drip high. When your drip's lower. When your drip's too low, your blood comes out. Uh, Molly. How do I get it back in? What did they do before? It's just come out a bit, that's all. But how do I? Um, that's through the nurse, right? No. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> just let's try and fix it. I think it's going back in. Did you hold it low down? Um, yeah, sort of. Oh, it's making me feel sick. No, it's just come the nurse. I'm trying to show, I'm, try, I'm trying to show my subscribers the, the hospital. Right, come on then, let's go on a little tour of the... No, we're just going to call them. Let's just, let's just show, show the, the subs a little bit. Oh, hang on. Is it going back in? Yeah, yeah it's going back in. Well, I'm not coming with you. you Why? You can go and deal with that yourself. Because it, it's embarrassing. Right, well, let's go back then. No, just call them. I can't walk down there with it. I don't need to call them, I'm just making a video. Yeah, but you need that it's going back in. I don't think it is. It's collected. They'll have to empty it. Molly really doesn't want to do this. I wanted to show you what the, the hospital looks like. But I tried going round with my drip just in my other hand, but because I'm holding it at the same level as my hand, it doesn't really work. We have to carry the drip around. 
but I can't do that and hold the camera, so Molly's coming with me. So we're going on a little hospital tour. What does a hospital look like in Asia? So, yeah, I would say this is a very clean hospital. Um, the staff have treated me really well. They're efficient and polite, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, I was screaming in agony this morning. I was making loads of noise, which is really not what you do in Asia. It's losing face, but... Um, but yeah, they, they, they just gave me some pain medication. And anyway, this is what the hospital looks like. This is another bedroom. This is obviously a double bedroom. Yeah. Have, have your ensuite here. Yeah. And it has aircon as well, which is super nice because at the minute it's quite hot. So yeah, that's, that's very nice to have. I don't have aircon usually, so that's a luxury. <laughs> Molly's literally carrying around my direct. Let me just get that in shot, stay there. The ones in the UK are not this heavy, I swear. This is what Molly's doing. Special thanks, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a dog down there. Who? There's two dogs in the hospital, so yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and this is like the laboratory space. So I had some like urine samples and, and things like that, so they tested me in there. So this is like your lab. I've got to make sure that I don't get anyone in my, ca in my footage because of privacy and everything like that. Um, but yeah, this is like a day room where people come and maybe get dialysis or get a drip or hydration or something like that. Yeah, very interesting. Awesome. Okay. Hello. Oh, right. Hello. Do you think it's a hospital dog? Yeah. Or is it like a stray? It looks very healthy. It does look like a healthy dog. Well, that's where you had your this is where I had my ultrasound. And my ECG. Yeah. Everything turned out all right, no problem. Oh, the dog's hiding in the room. Maybe that's its room. Oh, it's, it's a doggy here. room. The dog's having a go at me. So I've been banished from the hospital by, by a dog. So now I'm walking around the other side to the main entrance because he's intimidating me. <laughs> and I'm very weak at the moment. I'm on tramadol, I haven't eaten. I've just had my first half a meal in five days. I'm walking around the hospital in my socks. <laughs> Why haven't you got your shoes on? I, for I forgot to put my shoes on. This is so stupid. But yeah, it's quite nice actually. The airport's somewhere close. It's right there. I think the airport's like right opposite the hospital. And so I'm getting on a flight tomorrow to go to VNTN to go and see a, a specialist. And that's all being provided by my travel insurance. So that's super good. And I feel very lucky. You should definitely get your travel insurance as a top tip. Anyway, that's just the quick update from, from, from the channel. Oh, Molly's smashing up the, the hospital. There's a quick update for the channel. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded, but I'll be pushing out more videos soon. And tomorrow I'll be videoing me getting on an airplane, my first flight in, a very long time. Thanks for all your support everyone, I really appreciate it.